Hello and welcome to your narrated video tour for 108 Titanium Crescent in Halifax, Nova Scotia in the area of Spryfield in the subdivision of Governor's Brook. Just going to do a quick 360 here of the street. So beautiful homes, new area, schools, shopping is close by, public transit, parks, trails, beaches not that far away, whether it be uh, salt water in the ocean or fresh water in various lakes. And you actually have a play park for kids right there, almost across the street. You can see it there. It's called Titanium Crescent Park. So you can see it there and I'll just keep going around. So nice and quiet and you are probably about a 15 minute drive to downtown Halifax. And uh, like I said, it's a great area, very family oriented and people just love it here. Is the car coming? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I'll keep going. All right, so what we'll do is we'll walk around the exterior of the property first and then we'll go inside. So it's a fully detached home, single car garage, three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, fully finished basement, and uh, it's only a few years old. So very, very beautiful property. We have a wide paved driveway here, so you should be able to fit two vehicles there, depending on the make and model. And then of course there is your front steps. It's actually a composite board, so that's another upgrade. Lots of upgrades in this house that I'll be referencing. So uh, they will always look that way because that's a composite board. And then you have a little interlocking uh, area there. So let's walk around the back. The back, it's a very big backyard, landscaped and uh, fully fenced, which is super. There's your side entrance just off your garage. And then they have a little sort of corral area here so you can put your garbage cans because it does get windy here in Halifax uh, by the ocean. So then they won't blow around. Now, with regards to uh, utilities, so the tenant pays for utilities, which is power and water. Power gives you uh, heat, uh, air conditioning through this thing right here is called a ductless heat pump. I'll be talking about that in a moment. And your power does everything. So heat, your hot water, you do get air conditioning through the ductless heat pump lights and all that type of thing. We have contacted Nova Scotia Power to get historic usage with regards to other occupants. So that is in the ad. So now you know what you can expect to pay here with regards to power. Now it does have ductless heat pump and I'll be talking about that more when we go inside. That is the condenser. So that is the most cost efficient form of heating and air conditioning in our province uh, that you can find here given our climate. So it is able to extract uh, heat uh, from the outside air in the winter time till around minus 10 degrees. So it's very efficient. And then of course you get air conditioning in the summer months like we're in today uh, as a bonus so that's uh that's uh, that's just a huge bonus and upgrade for the property and then you have electric radiators throughout the entire house the ductless heat pump head is actually in the uh, main floor just in the living room area and i'll show you when we go inside okay so now we're going i just have the the gate door here propped open so you've got a double uh, two-tier deck fully fenced uh, really pretty landscaping as you can tell when we, well, you're starting to see that there's some of belongings from uh, from the current occupants, the current tenant right now. So when we walk around and we walk inside, just try to look beyond their belongings. Uh, the house will be fully uh, fully cleaned and and uh, and vacant and everything ready to go for new tenants. So big backyard. So you can see the fence goes all the way around and then all the way back here where we just came. And again, that's where we just came from. And now you're going to see the beginnings of the uh, two tier deck. So you have one tier here and then another one just up there. And then you have the sliding glass door just off of your dining room area. So there's a little walking path here. It meanders its way around a little <laughs> cute little bridge there. And not that this is going anything underneath it, but just a little bridge decorative. And then you have a little interlocking stone patio over there. And then further back, you have more shrubs and whatnot. Like I said, the, the tenant is just a little behind on cutting the grass, but that'll all be done. So very big backyard. And we'll just back right up so you can see the back of the property now. So there's the back of the home. So we've got two bedrooms uh, facing the back of the property. So we'll be going up there and then this is your kitchen window. That's your dining room sliding glass door. And then you've got your double to your uh, two tier deck here. All right, so let's go up onto the deck so you can see that and then see the view from it. So pressure treated wood. So this is the newer platform. So the lower level of the deck. And this is what the view would be from that area. So good size, be able to fit some tables and chairs. And now we're just up on the original part of the deck. You can see the different staining and uh, pressure treated versus a little bit older wood, which is still in great shape. And then that's the sliding glass door going into the, uh, the kitchen and the dining room area. Do you have a little privacy wall here? And there's your view from the backyard or from the deck of the backyard, the lower level deck, 
and now we're on the upper level. Very big. And the area is great. Again, family oriented, lots of kids and people of all ages in a newer neighborhood. Very close to downtown Halifax and you do have schools in the local area as well. All right, so there's the backyard and that will pretty much finish the outside. So let's head around to the front and we will go inside. And this does have a door here, just right there. I just have it propped open for now. Okay. Let's again, the view of the street going up on our maintenance free stairs and railings. So there's your front door. Turn around just so you can see the view from the front door. So there's that park right across the street there that I showed you earlier. You can hear some kids playing in the background there. And there we go. All right, so let's head inside. So when you walk inside, uh, you have uh, ceramic tile here, and then you have a hardwood staircase going up to the main floor. And then you're starting to see your living area, your half bath and whatnot. And that goes down into the lower level, which is fully finished. And you have a closet there and that type of thing. So let's go upstairs. And then we end up on a laminate floor here. And I'll just turn around so you can see where we just came from. So there's the staircase. And I'll just do a little 360 here. So this goes up towards the second floor, your bedrooms. You do have a side window there. You, this is your one of the closets, so there's multiple closets. So again, just look beyond the items. These people are in the process of relocating. So there's your shelf and rail. And we're going from a laminate floor to a ceramic tile. So there's your pedestal sink, your mirror, your light just above it. And there's your toilet and they did have a little person. So they have, so they have a bunch of gear there for, you know, potty training and that type of thing. So. And there's you have a uh, na or you have a window there for natural light and uh, fresh air, which is great. And you also have an exhaust fan. All right, so let's go into the main area of the home. So all solid surface flooring. So this is going to be your living room area. So once again, where we were just standing a moment ago. Nice big window facing the street. You have a decorative sort of fireplace with uh, wall sconces there. You see just behind they have a television there there's a i believe there's an electric fireplace just built into the the wood paneling there that goes up to the ceiling so again all of these items will be gone there's your view from your living room window of the street and we'll just turn around here so we have windows on both sides of the fireplace and there's the ductless heat pump head right there so that's pushing air out whether it be heat or air conditioning. Now you're seeing the back of the house. So as we go further back, again, all solid surface flooring, there's the bathroom we were just in, and that's your dining room area just off of the kitchen, and then it's a beautiful white kitchen. So let's head back towards that way. And you have some other upgrades, which would be the pot lights, some decorative wallpaper here, and then as well as in the bathroom. So this is your dining room area just opposite the kitchen. Here's an example of the electric radiators. So you have the electric radiators with thermostats throughout the entire property, but on the main floor, at least, you're gonna be wanting to use that heat pump because it's more efficient, which is a great upgrade. There is the sliding glass door going out to, towards the back deck where we, where we just were. There's your, um, your white kitchen, stainless steel appliances, and I'll just turn right around so you can see it all the way, this floor all the way from this vantage point. So all the appliances that you're seeing are included in the rent. So let's have a, let's jump into the kitchen. So we're going from a laminate floor back to a tile. So there's your fridge, your stove, your microwave range hood unit, and your built-in uh, microwave. You also have a double stainless steel sink with an upgraded faucet where the head comes out for a sprayer. There's your view of the backyard when you're doing dishes. This is also a solid surface countertop. It appears to be quartz. And then you have an island with storage as well. And here is your view from the floor from within the kitchen. Very nice. And once again, I'll show you the kitchen cabinetry. So you have some, almost some floor to ceiling cabinetry there. There's some, your uppers above the fridge and for the rest of the kitchen there, good amount of counter space as well. So there's your uppers and then of course your lowers. Perfect. 
All right, so let's head upstairs. So we're going to see some Berber carpet as we round the corner. So this is the staircase going upstairs. So it's open right up into the ceiling of the second floor, that level. So nice and bright. We've got a big window here allowing in natural light. This faces the street. So there's your view. And again, where we just came from on the lower level, going up the staircase now. And we're back up to solid surface flooring. So that was just on the stairs, the Berber carpet that is. Okay. So when you come up to the landing on the second floor, so this is your master bedroom. There's a walk-in closet and an ensuite bath. As I turn around, there's the two secondary bedrooms facing the back of the property. We saw the windows when we were outside. Then you have another full bath here, and then you also have a linen closet tucked right around the corner right there. Okay, so let's go inside the master bedroom first. So again, laminate flooring. We'll walk right over to the window. This is facing the street. Wonderful breeze. You can see the curtain blowing in the wind. So there's your view from your master bedroom. There's the park again. And I'll turn right around. There's where we just came from. There's the walk-in closet and there's the ensuite bathroom. So let's make our way over there. So here's the walk-in closet. So good amount of shelving, organizers, rails, good amount of storage, which is super. Now we're going to be heading into the bathroom. So it's a three piece bath. So going from a laminate to a ceramic tile, upgraded vanity, under mounted sink, quartz countertop. There's your mirror, another window for natural light and uh, fresh air, which is great. And then you have a, it looks to be a four foot shower that has a uh, tile right up to the ceiling. And there's your shower head and your rail. Which is super. All right. So now we'll continue on down the hall. Let's go into the other bathroom. So you'll see two full bathrooms on this floor. So again, we're back on a laminate now. We're going to a tile. Another upgraded vanity, so similar to the ensuite. So nice and white, undermounted sink, uh, quartz countertop. There's your mirror. Another window, again, for natural light and fresh air. Your toilet, again, <laughs> the little potty, <laughs> potty aid there for the little one. And then you have a shower tub combo, an acrylic unit. There's the curtain there just covering, but it's one, it's, um, it's acrylic and that's a shower and bathtub. So super nice and clean and easy to maintain. And there's your exhaust, exhaust fan, pardon me. All right. So now we're going to be going into the two bedrooms at the back of the property. But before we go there, I'll just open up. There's lots of storage in this property. So again, sort of look beyond the belongings, please. So you've got some shelving right up to the ceiling there. So there's your linen closet and going into the, uh, the second bedroom, so facing the back of the property, still on a laminate floor. There's the window that's open, so you can see the backyard, so you get a good idea of what that backyard is now. So there's the little trail. Let's see if I can point to it. There it goes in a little loop. And there's a little interlocking stone area and <laughs> some pebble stones there, some beach stones. So big backyard. Great for kids. All right, so I'll turn right around. And that's where we just came from. You also have some upgraded doors here as well. And then we'll have our closet. Open that up. So there's the closet, shelf and a rail, good size. We're going to be going into our third and final bedroom now, also facing the back of the property, still on the laminate floor. We'll go right over to the window, which overlooks the backyard. So you can see the backyard once again. There you go. And turning right around, you can see where we just came from a moment ago. And then another closet. Let's pop this one open so you can get an idea of storage as well. Good size closet, a little bit deeper than the last. And then you have your shelf and rail right there as well. All right, so we've seen the main floor in the upper level. Now let's go into the fully finished lower level. So as you can see, it's it's a little bit beyond midday and lots of natural light. So, and again, the home is only a few years old. Uh, so the windows are all in great shape. They're all vinyl. Uh, the exterior is pretty much maintenance free. It's really nice. All right, so now we're going down the hardwood staircase. Once again, there is your entry where we started and going down another set of hardwood staircase or another set of hardwood stairs. And now we're downstairs on the lower level. So as you come around the corner, so I'm on a ceramic tile floor now. So we've got a closet here. There's your access to the built-in single car garage. 
you have access you have some storage under the stairs and as we wrap around the corner that will be your rec room which goes back to a laminate floor so let's open up the closet here so coats and shoes so most of the time because of the garage uh, everyone comes and goes through this door so this is where they would naturally put their coats and shoes turn right around and again where we just came from a moment ago and we'll open this up now this is pretty packed again and this goes in and then off to the left. So just under the staircase there, there is a light. So a good amount of storage there. We'll open up the garage for you. So steel insulated door to code. There's the garage door uh, and automatic garage door opener. You also have the side door that we saw when we were outside. That is your electrical panel. So everything's great. It's all breakers. And then you have some shelving there for storage and whatnot. So good size garage. And if you're driving a sedan, you should be able to fit it in here and possibly uh, different trucks as well. And there's your water access for uh, when you want to wash your vehicle or whatever. All right, close that up. So we're going to be going into the last room of the tour. So this is the rec room. So again, there's a good amount of items in here with, be, with them getting ready to move, but it's a big room. You should be able to fit most sectional couches, big screen TVs, be a great room for um, you know, big, you know, for, for get togethers on the big couch, watching the big screen, watching the game, playing video games, whatever the case may be. So nice, and it's a lot, again, natural light here. As you can see where grade is, so we're a little bit above grade there, which is great. So two, uh, uh, you have a fixed pane window on the right and on the left, you have a casement window, it cranks open, so you can get natural air and natural fresh air and, sorry, <laughs> fresh air and natural light into this room, which is great. And then you're starting to see some additional doors. So in there is your washer and your dryer or air exchanger. Uh, air exchanger which is fresh air in stale air out it's code for all uh, newer properties and you have your fourth and final ba uh, bathroom which is a half bath so let's open those up so here we go there's the washer and the dryer right there hot water tank nice big one and there's your air exchanger so again fresh air in stale air out and it also helps to control humidity which is standard in all newer homes and i'll oh, show you the last bathroom. So there's your pedestal sink, your mirror, your toilet, <laughs> another little <laughs> a training aid for the little ones. And uh, so there's your last bathroom. And that's on ceramic tile in there. All right, so thank you very much for watching. You now know absolutely everything about the property inside and out. Tenant pays for utilities, which again is Nova Scotia Power and for Halifax Water. Tenant is also responsible for cutting out the grass and shoveling out the snow. My name is Chris Ryan. I'm a property manager here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to reach out with regards to this property, please do so. My phone number is 902-830-4465. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.